With a lineup of past winners, including Arlo Park, Celeste, and Tom Grennan, the BBC Music Introducing Awards have been responsible for launching the careers of many artists. With performances at Glastonbury already under her belt, a new album and a UK tour about to start this year's winner, Self Esteem, looks set to follow the same path. Have a listen. Be very careful out there. Stop trying to have so many friends. Don't be intimidated by all the babies they have. Don't be embarrassed that all you've had is fun. Well, self-esteem. The winner of this year's BBC Introducing Artist of the Year, also known as Rebecca, joins us now. Morning. Congratulations. Thank you. This is the first time we've said this out loud. I know. I'm so chuffed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just... I've always felt like I am an award winner, <laughs> but to now be one... You know, feels correct. That's really interesting. You say you've always felt like an award winner. That that is really reflected in your music, isn't it? Very powerful. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Where does that come from? Oh, just years of not feeling like that, and like you know, being in the music industry as a woman, surrounded by men mostly, and and a real like, I don't know. It's difficult to be myself, and then I just realised I'm thinking nothing of myself in order to make everyone else comfortable. And, Go on. Yeah. What changed? Just, I'm tired. <laughs> you're, 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 you're tired of... Yeah, just, it's, it's exhausting trying to shapeshift all the time and be what you think everyone wants. And then I stopped and just accepted myself and surrounded myself with good people and now I'm having a right laugh. <laughs> it's, it's such a positive message. I mean, I think there'll be lots of people watching you who are not maybe involved in your business, could be just in their ordinary workplace mm -hmm. or whatever it is they do, thinking, you know, I know that feeling. Yeah, I think it's a bit of a myth that we've been told that like self-love is selfish or narcissistic or or um, you're showing off or something or thinking a lot of yourself. It's, it, and actually, it's the key to like having a happy life is to love yourself. But it's it's very difficult. And people have different ideas about what self-esteem mm. is, don't they? And some of them, I mean, I suppose, I guess it's finding out what works for you. Yeah. And so what does work for you? For, it's just like true just self-acceptance and, and doing what I want. Like, my album title is Prioritise Pleasure and I think people think that's like kind of exciting, titillating title and I'm like, no, I just mean I want to go home when I want to. <laughs> I don't yeah. want to go to the party or I don't want, you know, like pleasing yourself truly. When you start doing that, it makes you a better per partner, friend, colleague. It's like a real myth that we like should like devote ourselves to everyone else, like love yourself and then the rest of... You're, a be you're just better all around, I think. You use very <laughs> wise words. Yeah. I'm older than I look. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't, you know, wisdom doesn't always come with age, no. does it? Because you get, no, you do get very, you get very wise things coming out of, you know, younger people. Yeah. I would put you definitely in that category. Thank you. I've just devoted my, I, I was just, I found my twenties very difficult. I was very sort of miserable and, and yeah, I just, I've devoted myself to figuring out why and how to fix that and why was that why was it miserable just like it's expectation and like I, and i'm wary to start going on about gender but like it, you know i was very much like saying you lame be a good little girl and, and life will be easy and you'll be safe you know and i just sort of started to feel like why and and it's difficult and it's very complicated and it's longer than we've got <laughs> to discuss but um yeah i don't know i'm just like you only get to live one. But actually, your music, you talk about, you say you don't want to talk about gender, but your music appeals to men and women. Oh, yeah. it? It's not It's not like you're writing an anthem that's only to be heard by women. It's really broad appeal. No, not at all. And, I, and my point is, like, I think just being alive is very difficult. It's like it's existing whatever, however you identify is hard. And um, But I think we've been taught a sort of stiff upper lip, get on with it, you know, uh, keep calm, carry on kind of thing, which... And big feelings, uh, they're not a negative. Like, uh, yeah, I, I, like I've always been very emotional and it's been sort of a bad thing. But now I'm realising it's just a very normal thing. And, and I put it into my music and like, I'll, and if people get something out of it, I'm really glad. But uh, yeah, I sound like I'm trying to start a cult a bit. But So you've won BBC Introducing, which is a bit odd in a way, because you've already done a lot. You've already done a lot. Mm -hmm. You'll be new to a lot of people maybe watching now. Yeah. You've done, you've played Glastonbury, for example, which is, uh, uh, there we are. Oh, yeah. This is you performing Glastonbury. <laughs> that is, is, that a good, oh, is that a good feeling? How's that feeling? I'm just laughing because I am there in a Boots Advantage card dress. Is that and, uh, what that yeah, is? Yeah, I had this, like, vision and we made it happen. Now, tell me, what, what was the vision? Why a Boots Advantage card? Because, you know, there's a famous card uh, dress that someone wore to the Oscars. It's gold, American gold card. 
And to me, true wealth is a is a full boots advantage card. Wow, so the power of that. That was my thinking, and it got a bit out of hand. And now I'm on national TV. <laughs> but there you go. <laughs> is it? What is it? Was it good? I mean, how was last week for you? Oh, amazing! It? Yeah, like again, like whenever I walk out onto the stage and there's people there, I genuinely I'm just so thrilled. And you know, the fact that there's beginning to be more people there is just brilliant. But I, I'd accepted as long as I get to say what I need to in my music and there's someone there, like I'm happy and. Yeah, so I'm just riding the wave now. So you sound like you've been through a lot before this. Mm -hmm. And when you walk out on stage and you see that audience there, there's never a mo that self-doubt, never. There's never that little voice. <laughs> I mean, doing more telly, the voice is here a bit because it's it is like it's a numbers game, isn't it? As soon as you're in front of more people, the the ratios of people who like you and people who don't are, are going to shift. And I'm getting used to it. It's you know you just got to, aren't you? What's what's Bit of a dance routine thing going on here. Yeah, that's another one of my music videos. <laughs> yeah, that's me having a dance in the club, look. <laughs> but you know, all, all that says to me is I, I love the way you talk about things because that sort of oozes confidence. It oozes kind of, you know, I am who I am and all yeah. of that stuff. I mean, maybe I need to have more stress and think, overthink it more than I am doing. No. But I, yeah, I, you know, I was sick of living secondary. I'm sick of living like half a life because I'm trying to protect my safety or protect my what people think of me and yeah well i think it's all it, it's wonderful liking the kind of autumn green as well Thank very you. nice it's, yeah it's we've coordinated yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah green was the, the memo today the charlie congratulations <laughs> thank you uh yeah. self-esteem's album is called prioritize pleasure as you said and it's being released later this week congratulations well thank done it's so incredible much. thank you for coming in <laughs> that is all from the pair of us this morning